So you have to give a speech. What should you do with your hands? If you're giving a speech in real life, my suggestions are hold your hands naturally at your sides with a note card in one of them. Don't hold the note card a foot from your face, but rather write large enough that you can casually glance down at it without drawing attention to the fact that you're using notes. Don't clasp your hands in front of you. This sends the message to the audience that you're not open to them. Don't wring your fingers, crack your knuckles, or tap your note card. The funny thing about gesturing in a speech is it's almost more important what you don't do than what you do. If you don't create distracting gestures, you're already ahead of the game. Then you can add on gestures that you plan in your preparation outline to emphasize your most important points. At first, this will seem unnatural, and when I watch my students' first speech tries, I can see how they're suffering through the experience. But after a few speeches, I notice a remarkable improvement. You'll notice an improvement too in your gestures when you watch your videos. But don't take my word for it. Irish playwright George Bernard Shaw said, I am the most spontaneous speaker in the world because every word, every gesture, and every retort has been carefully rehearsed. At this point, you might be saying, this doesn't imply to me at all because I come from a culture that embraces talking with your hands. I'm from Texas, same. In that case, much like your facial expressions, be yourself and embrace your authentic speaker. Everyone else, try evaluating your gestures through the three C's of nonverbal communication. Context, do your gestures communicate your passion for your topic? It's hard to communicate enthusiasm if we never see your hands. Remember, body language makes up over half of how the audience evaluates your credibility. Next, remember clusters. Are your gestures authentic? If you talk with your hands, talk with your hands. Even if you never talk with your hands, you're gonna have to force yourself to have some gestures when speaking to create a better experience for the audience. Finally, the last C, congruence. Do your gestures match the tone and context of what you're saying? If you just put your hands up in the video frame and wave them around during your entire speech without meaning, no one is gonna be fooled. The bottom line is gestures are very important in relating to your audience. For more ideas on how to improve your nonverbal communication, subscribe to my channel.